Good evening and welcome to another watch video. Uh, today we'll do something special. I recently uh, got possession of three Rangeman watches, the GW9400 uh, and I also own the GW69 from before. Uh, since I, this is the first time that I have four atomic watches at one place at the same time, I decided to do an interesting experiment and that is uh, having them sync uh, all together to uh, see how to see the beauty of the atomic uh, atomic radio controlled watches uh, which is that they're always synced perfectly so what I did, uh, did is I manually set the time uh, to differentiate between them uh, by five seconds so as you can see the GW69 is the one that's the fastest then the next one uh, to the right is five seconds behind that one and five seconds behind the second and so on so I also changed the dates so the GW69 has January 9th and the rangemen have January 10th 11th and 12th so the days are Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday uh, I set the time at 150 something because at 2 a.m. they're gonna do uh, an atomic uh, they're gonna try uh, an uh, automatic atomic sync. So this is going to happen in a couple of seconds and they're going to start uh, the first is going to be the GW69 and then five seconds after it it's going to be the first arrangement then the second then the third. Uh, hopefully by the time they finish the sync they're all going to show the same exact same time day date uh, and also their seconds are going to be perfectly synced. So here goes the GW69 just started and it's acquiring the signal now the first rangeman uh, five seconds after it, the second rangeman and the third rangeman as you can see uh, once they acquire the signal they're gonna have L1 2 or 3 displayed uh, the GW69 already had the L1 and switched to L3 the L3 is the strongest signal and L1 is the weakest so L3 is the desire desirable signal strength and the GW69 the 69 already caught it. Uh, the rangemen are slowly catching on. As you can see, the second and the third uh, watch have the L1, and now they're all at L1. Uh, the, sec uh, the second one went to L3, so did the third, and the fourth. So now they're all at L3, and they're now syncing uh, themselves. Uh, the reason why I uh, did it with just five seconds apart, including one day, but uh, five seconds because uh, they do it automatically at 2 a.m., like I said. So if I, let's say, moved uh, them a couple of minutes apart or an hour, uh, we would have to wait for those minutes to pass for them to do the, atomic, uh, the automatic sync. So this was more practical because we had to wait only five seconds uh, between each other, each one of them uh, started their, their sync. Uh, also, the time displayed is not correct. Uh, I didn't want to wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning or in the night, so it's actually uh, 9.50 p.m. and it's February 14th. It's a Tuesday of 2017, so it's a Valentine's Day. So uh, once they sync, the time should be somewhere around, I don't know, 21.50, and the date should say uh, February 14th, and the day should say Tuesday on all of them. Also, the um, seconds should be synced completely uh, perfect. Uh, I wanted to do this experiment. Why? Because uh, it shows uh, how brilliant the radio control technology is, and it really looks cool when all your, all your watches are perfectly synced. So as we can see, the 69 has a pretty stable L3 while the arrangement sometimes vary between L2 and L3. Uh, the reason why these watches do it in the night is because uh, during the day you can uh, start a manual sync but there's too much interference so there's a, a big chance that the watches won't be able to sync if you're far away from the atomic tower. In my case I am, I'm pretty far, I'm 980 kilometers away uh, which means uh, that it's like it is within the range, but it's on the border of a successful sync. So uh, during the day, I can never acquire 
a successful uh, sync uh, and my levels are always at L1 and uh, the connection keeps breaking but during the night all my watches always sync perfectly and now we'll just see uh, who is gonna finish first second and third of course the 69 had a five second head start but I expect the arrangement to be pretty fast because I do believe there's been at least some improvement in the antenna uh, during the years since the 69 is pretty old compared to the rangeman so let's just uh, wait and see what happens of course I hope they're all gonna be perfectly synced uh, it doesn't have to be but I believe they will uh, this is a, a spectacular technology uh, in wristwatches why because these watches are uh, are true set it and forget it watches because once you set up your time zone they're going to link to the nearest atomic tower and they're going to set themselves up every night. Uh, this setup and there, the 69 just completed and the fourth arrangement completed the sync. And as you can see, they're perfectly synced. The time is 21.52 and the date is February 14th, Tuesday. Now we're just going to have to wait for these two in the middle to complete their sync. They're still not over. Uh, so, like I said, uh, the information that these watches receive from the atomic tower or the radio tower uh, is the year, the month, the date, and I believe the day is calculated by themselves. I don't know, maybe that's even received. Uh, the hours, minutes, seconds, and the daylight savings time. So, uh, where applicable, uh, the daylight savings uh, time will be automatically synced so this watch once you put it on your wrist and you're within a range of the atomic tower uh, you don't have to touch it ever again it's always going to show uh, the correct time uh, the new GPS watches uh, they're pushed pretty hard by the companies as the new cool technology and they are they're really cool and they work uh, uh, on the whole planet uh, whereas these watches work only within ranges of the six towers that are in existence. But people uh, usually don't know that D GPS watches do not contain DST settings, which means that uh, the satellite GPS watches uh, need to be corrected twice a year by the user whenever you switch from summer to winter time. Whereas the atomic watches do it by themselves. So that's one plus for the atomic watches if you're within the range of the atomic tower if you're not uh, GPS watches are better uh, the only one that has both is uh, Casio with their GPW I mean not just the GPW but that same module is used in a couple of their models and it's the only hybrid between a satellite and the atomic and as you can see uh, the two other watches also completed and now they're all showing the same time the same day date month and the seconds are perfectly in sync now you have to admit that this looks pretty cool and now imagine if you had like a collection of 10 or 15 of these watches I mean atomic watches and they were all perfectly in sync I mean that really looks cool well that's about it I mean the experiment was successful and I'm glad it was I was kind of afraid that the signal won't won't work pretty well because it's still pretty early I mean it's 9 50 it's 10 p.m. it's not morning hours but I'm glad everything worked out uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did